So good morning, everyone. I'm getting my regular unstable internet message. So just give me a shout in the comments if I, you're unable to hear me properly. Now, it's my great pleasure and privilege to be here each and every week with um, Dinah Hunter and Gary Knapp. And we love being with all of you. Um, it's a very uh, special time to us and you know it's also selfish yes it is a labor of love but also we gain so much from being here each and every week and uh, we know from the feedback from you uh, you give us the same you tell us you have the same experience so Amanda always says yes when I invite her to join us uh, our region Australia New Zealand and Singapore uh, we're both Canadian born so don't uh, excuse our accents um, but we love Manatech and that, like everybody listening today. Now, Amanda joined Manatech Inc. in October 1996 after a 15 year career with the bank where she had worked as an account manager. Once she saw what the company had discovered and patented, she was hooked. She went full time with her Manatech business in 1997 and has never looked back. She has built a multi million dollar business and now teaches and trains others so that they can also enjoy the life they dream of. Amanda is also a motivational speaker. She's traveled all over North America, building her business and training for Manatech. She's a natural optimist and believes that everyone can be successful with their business if their desire is strong enough and if they're persistent and consistent. She's told that her enthusiasm is contagious and she uses that gift to inspire and motivate others. She is committed to excellence and winning and wants all Manatechers to find the same success that she has. She's an amazing ambassador. This training today is gonna to be all about business and it's perfect and a big warm welcome. I'll scan to see if we've got some new people here today. There are some names I don't recognize. So big warm welcome uh, to this education if it's new to you. So Amanda, welcome and thank you for being here with us. Well, you know it's my pleasure. I've got a dream to come to Australia. One day I'll come in person, but thank you for having me. I'm always thrilled to come on your call. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, absolutely. We've been, every time we uh, have this time together on this call, we talk about getting you here, don't we? <laughs> so let's, <laughs> let's start from um, the beginning. You know, how did you come to be introduced as, a, as an account manager in a bank? How did you become interested or open or introduced to Manatech? Well, thank you for asking that very important question. I started I'd been in the bank, as we said, I was a career banker. I'd worked really hard to get where I was. Account manager was a good job. I looked after loans and mortgages and um, investments of high-end clients. But what was happening is I found in the corporate world, um, somebody else is always in charge of your life. And we had like horrific targets. We, had, we worked long hours. We didn't get paid overtime. Uh, with away from my family all the time. We had to take all these courses at nighttime and on the weekends. It was like full out, owned your life. And I really honestly thought, you know, they don't pay me enough for what I have to do and what I have to know. <laughs> so I was in the looking zone. And that is when um, I had, I, I didn't ever, don't usually mention this in my story, but I'd sold Alouette skincare for about three months and, and it had skyrocketed for me, it did really well. But I was just starting my bank career at the same time. So I put that aside and, and went full on with my career with the bank. But I knew that in direct sales, there was good money and, and that I had a gift for doing it. So I wasn't afraid when I saw that it was, you know, network marketing, direct sales. I, didn't, I had no bad feeling about that because I'd only had a good experience with it. So I was in the lookings on one of my clients. Um, I just asked her, you know, what are you up to, Linda? And she said, oh, I'm kind of excited. She was an airline hostess for Canadian. But she said, I've just joined this company. And I go, oh, yeah, what is it? And she goes, well, it's these health products. And, and I'm very embarrassed to tell you that I probably rolled my eyes because I didn't take vitamins. I didn't take anything. I just, you know, I had good, I, I thought I had good health. And so it wasn't even, just, but anyway, I did say to her, well, what's it from? And she said, the aloe plant. Well, Alouette skincare, all they talked about was the aloe plant. So I knew all about the aloe plant. So over the weekend, I was taking this Tony Robbins course. It was a 30 day program. That's really what happened to me. 30 day program, you did a disc a day and he's teaching you how to think outside the box and expand you know, your horizons. And then it, one of the lines that stuck with me so clearly was he said, you can have total freedom. You can have total financial freedom and time freedom if you want it. 
anybody can have it. And I thought, that's what I want, but I'll never get it in the bank because you know, you're just not in control. So, um, so when Linda mentioned that, I mulled it over on the weekend and I thought, you know what, maybe she's my ticket out. So I called her on Monday. And if you guys ever get a call like this, pay attention. So I called her and I said, Linda, I'd like to know about your business. Well, she's down to the bank with the guy behind her that signed her in and up into my office. And I'm going, close the door, close the door. <laughs> they come with armloads of, of stuff. And I mean, binders and things. And so I said, well, let's go for a coffee. So we go over there. They give me all this stuff. I'm looking at a brochure and it's just like bottles of pills and stuff. And I thought, oh, I'm just so not interested. Like this doesn't look very exciting. Alouette skincare was makeup and, you know, lipstick and all fun girl stuff. So anyway, took it home. I put this video in. It was a VHS, one of the big ones. It was 25 years ago. Put it in and I was blown away. I literally watched it five times in a row. My son was there. He was, I don't know what age then, teenager. I made him watch it with me. And I was so excited, I couldn't sit down. I'm phoning my sisters. I found something, we're gonna be rich. <laughs> my big sales pitch line. And so I, I just saw, see what I saw was that they had discovered the secret of the aloe plant and they had patented that discovery. And I thought, if this is true, I just struck gold. Well, it was true and it did strike gold. So anyway, I, back then we signed in at the thousand dollar level. It was called an um, all-star kit. And our, our dollar was so terrible at the time in Canada against the US dollar. It was like about $1,700 for me to get started. And um, so I, I joined right away and then I did it part-time for a year. And then when breakfast, Paul and I went out for breakfast and I said, well, I'm making a decision. And he said, what's that? And I said, I'm quitting the bank and I'm gonna do Nanotech full time. Well, he says later about this, he goes, shouldn't we have discussed this first? <laughs> because you've gotta know I had a really good job. It was paying pretty good money. But um, anyway, he knows better than to, if I made up my mind, I've made up my mind. So anyway, I did do that and I, um, I went full time. And then Sharon, you know, Sharon sort of asked me to really tell you about the ups and downs, because I know that you all have ups and downs. That's, that's life. That's the way it goes. But of course, I had a, a rough journey along the way. Um, like, first of all, I think I quit my job a little too soon, because my income had gone up nicely, but um, it, it didn't go up as fast as it had the beginning. It kind of slowed down a bit. I'm thinking, oops, like maybe <laughs> that was a little too quick. and. Um, but anyway, we munched along. I, I brought my sister in, one of my sisters, and she was an amazing builder. Val Card, you, you would know her, yeah. probably. Many of you would know her. She was, <clears throat> so the two of us went on this journey together. Didn't have a clue what we were doing. My upline was very weak, so we kind of got rid of them pretty quick. <laughs> we just kind of went on our own and, and tried to figure this all out. And we fact, as we went, well, I mean, back then we even had to create a presentation. So then we had to learn PowerPoint so we could make a presentation. I mean, you have no idea the learning curve that we were going through. And, but we were so on fire. And if you walked past me, you were going to hear about Manatech. It, it didn't matter who it was. And I was never embarrassed about network marketing. Like I, and that, you know, that can hold a lot of people back. They think that, um, I don't know. I, it just was never a problem for me because I knew the potential. I could see the potential. I was hearing about the money people were making and I thought, oh, if they can do it, I can do it. So that was my, um, that was my attitude. So I didn't have anything like that stopping me from talking to people. Oh, but then, of course, I thought, well, if I'm going to sell this stuff, I guess I better get on it. So I started taking the product and you have to know the lifestyle I was living at the time is that I worked in the bank, long hours, terrible eating habits, probably picked up McDonald's on the way to work in the morning. Lunch was grilled cheese sandwich, fries and a coffee. And I can't remember when I quit smoking because I might've even had a cigarette. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, so then I got on the products and holy smokes, I couldn't believe it. Like I thought I felt great. I had no idea how unhealthy I was because my energy went up. I was sleeping better. 
normally Paul and I, you know, by the end of the week, we were so begged. We, we just didn't want to see anybody. We'd just be couch potatoes. And all of a sudden I'm out in the evening going, building my business, having people in for dinner. My energy was amazing. I felt fabulous. And I even had people say to me, what are you doing? Like, you're just changing before my eyes. Like my step was quicker, my everything. So I have fallen in love with the products and I have, I've been taking them for 25 years. I've never missed a day ever. And it wouldn't, it took me a few months to get onto the routine because it was new for me. But I did things like I put the product in my desk drawer. So every time I opened the desk, I would see them there. And like, I really worked at getting on them. But once you get the results of the product, you don't forget to take them, right? So, um, so that's sort of what happened. And then as I went through, that was 25 years ago, 2008 would be my bad year. Um, that year, oh my gosh, I was trying to talk. Well, what happened was <laughs> I got colon cancer. That was scary. Um, my volume dropped from presidential down because 2008, I don't know if it was around the world, but it was certainly in North America. We had a terrible time. Um, and I was trying to talk Paul into, you know, retiring early because I thought, Oh God, I've got cancer. Maybe if I die, like if I never got to retire or have any fun, so I'm trying to get him to retire. Well, the market crashed and our investments went down like, Phew. and thank goodness Paul was going to retire, but thank goodness he didn't because that's when I lost my presidential. So my check went down and, and then, and my sister Val quit. Like it was just, it was awful. But mm. I, my cancer was fine. What happened is I had an operation. They removed it. I didn't need chemo. I didn't need anything. It was totally isolated. Oh my gosh, how did that happen? Mm. Um, so it was like a non-event really. Once the operation was over, I was good to go. Away I went again. And um, Valerie went on to another company. Well, she went on to a few other companies. And, but, you know, and we, were, we had a rough relationship there for a while, about three years. And she was my best friend. Well, she's my best friend again now. We talk every day. I help her with her business. She helps me with mine. And um, it's wonderful. Paul did finally retire, but not then. He waited a few couple more years. So you know, it was a happy ending in the end. But I guess you all need to know you're going to go through ups and downs. But that is life. And mm. what we're going to talk about in a bit, we've got something to help you with that big time. So... Um, you know what? I wouldn't give up this journey for anything. The personal growth, the health, the people that I've become my friends, my family. Um, I've had two trips with, with M5M. One was I was, went to South Africa um, and we went to the soup kitchen there. That was about four years ago, four or five years ago. So, oh God, Cape Town is so beautiful. And so that was amazing. And then I earned a trip to Guatemala. And I must tell you that that was the first trip with Manatech that I was really scared. And I thought, oh, why did I go for this trip? I'm terrified because I heard of people being abducted down there and they like blondes so they could abduct a blonde. And <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But it turned out to be the trip of a lifetime. Although there was an earthquake while I was there and that was a little <laughs> scary. Um, and then, oh, I'll tell you a real quick, funny story about that. So there's this earthquake and it was the, the last night that we were there. The next day we were going to go and see the coffee fields and they really treated us like gold. I mean, we stayed in beautiful places and ate beautiful meals, but we did go to, we went and saw the soup kitchens. We saw the, the orphanages. We went there and I'll share that in a sec. But anyway, Paul's watching the news and he's kind of a, like a, he's a, kind of a worry ward. So he's hearing that there's a, an earthquake and it's down in Mexico and it's around Guatemala. And while well, he's having a heart attack and he's trying to get a hold of me, of course, I've got my phone turned off and he doesn't even know what hotel I'm in. He doesn't even, I didn't even know what city I was in because we just got on a bus and away we went and, <laughs> and he's frantic. And so the next morning he's reaching out to anyone he can think of. And then he sees on Facebook, um, Lori Lambert's on there. We're on a live and we're laughing. We're on a bus and we're going to the coffee fields. <laughs> That's how he found out that I was still alive. <laughs> so he, oh my God, that was so funny. But I tell you, one of my moments in Guatemala was that at the orphanage, there was about 500 children. 
and they had nothing. Now they're all really well dressed. They're all in little school uniforms. Um, we, we watched them being fed, um, our, our product going in for them all. I talked to the woman that was running that um, orphanage and I said to her, and it's a school, like they're all in school. And I said to her, have you seen a difference with the children since they've gone on the, the phytoblend? She goes, oh, absolutely. She said, none of the kids are dying. They're energized, they're, pardon me, energetic, they're learning better, their minds are working better. She said, we can't be without this anymore. Like this is, it's a miracle. And so, but I remember at the break, they had a recess and we were out in the field with all the kids. And what two fun things, we all had our bracelets on, our orange, um, you know. M5M, yeah. Bracelets, yeah, and, and all of us, it was about 18 <clears throat> of us, people from head office and whatnot, but anyway, I just remember looking out at the school ground and about 500 children and I thought, wow, because I saw this and then I shared with a few who shared with few, shared with a few, we're feeding this many children. And that was powerful. But then I had to laugh. We all got on the bus at the end of the day. Not one of us had our bracelets anymore. <laughs> We'd all given it to the kids, but it was just, it was wonderful. So that's my journey. And so I've stayed 25 years. I've never left this company, not for a day. I never thought about leaving Nanotech ever. No company ever turned my head because I knew I found the best one first. Mm -hmm. And people that have left, have gone from company to company to company to company, and they just lose their way. So anyway, that's my journey, Sharon. It is, so, it's it's easy to be uh, for people when they get up against a roadblock in, in their business to be distracted by another one and think that the company's the problem, which I guess, you know, that's possible. But I think, you know, to witness what we've done in 25 plus years in Manatech, so I've, it'll be 23 years this year for me. So it must be um, tw 27 for Manatech this year. Mm -hmm. be, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. um, they came to Australia when they were four years old. And I think that hitting up those roadblocks is all about the journey of being, you know, digging deep and being the best we can be. Because really, it, you know, there, I've, I've come and gone in my ability to be full-time focused with Mantech just because life has exerted itself with kids. But my absolute commitment and love for it has never faltered. And it does give back what you put into it, doesn't it? And then, well, it doesn't everything. Yeah. You know, your marriage, your relationship with your children, yeah. your work. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So those tough times that we talked about, some of them were mediated or um, implicated in because things happened. You know, we have such an integrated, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a brand new technology that's yes. threatening to people, that's threatening the status quo and well-being and in science. And ultimately, we won all the science wars, which kind of caused people to be wobbly in that 2007, 8, and 9 in the U.S., where we got attacked for our, our, you know, our science was questioned. Since that's been proven, they all sort of scuttered away. And um, so we're still, you know, my favorite thing about this, Amanda, is that we're all wellness warriors. You know, it's so important for us to help people realize that they have a different option for being in charge of their well-being, other than what we're led to believe in modern healthcare, and the same goes for our financial well-being, doesn't it? You know, most of us, or I was raised to, you know, I, me, I was born in the '50s, so I was raised to, you know, train myself as a nurse or a teacher so I could travel with my husband, and um, I could, my job would be secondary importance, and I'd move around with him. Well, I never got married, so <laughs> so much for that advice. Um, <laughs> so. We're here today talking about the power of that as a business. So as a banker, what, how do you see the importance of the residual income component that we get from a network marketing business with next to no investment? Well, that's the mind blowing part to me as a banker, because I did do business loans. And, um, and that's what I use in part of my presentation always is that to start a business, usually it's 50,000 100,000, 200, 500,000, a million. And as a banker, I would ask for a mortgage over your home. I would ask for your personal guarantee. And you would get in there and you would start working 80 hours a week because you've got everything on the line. And, and if you fail, you're going to lose it all. It's a big gamble. So to see that for $50, basically now, 
you can start this business and have the opportunity of unlimited income. And I don't know if you've seen my Saturday presentation uh, that I've done, I did a couple for Manatech, is that, okay, this is what I, this is what I think if people would just get this concept that you're, good, you're buying these products, you're buying products from the store, you're buying skincare, you're buying weight loss products, you're buying sports products and you know, all our line, you're buying it somewhere, you're going to buy it somewhere. If you buy it from your own online store, right off the bat, you've got all these tax write-offs because you've got a business. So that's two, 300 bucks a month before you've even made any money. And then you build the business by simply sharing. You don't inventory product, you don't deliver, you don't have to write checks, you don't have to do anything or collect money rather. And so then you build this business in all of these 26 countries around the world, right from your home with your telephone and the residual income that starts to gather. It's like, I mean, for my income, I'd have to have a few million dollars in the bank to collect a check that I get every, every, every month from Manatech. Like who can save two or 300,000 or a million or 2 million? You're not, it's impossible. But when you make residual income, it's like you had a few million dollars in the bank. That's what it, that's that's how you can be called call yourself a cash flow millionaire like i'm a cash flow millionaire and then to top it off when i die if paul's still alive it's going to go to flow to him and when he dies it will flow to my children this is a real business i just don't have bricks and mortar but i could sell my business and i mean it's a real business but you can't see it <laughs> it's out in la la land in the clouds but so now, and we've sort of melded in to be the way people are doing business. And that is we've got, you know, I like to call it an online business rather than network marketing, uh, because that's what it is. We've got an online business. We're buying from our own store. It's like a little, it's like a franchise, we call it the people's franchise where Sharon, I introduce you to it. I teach you what to do every step. And then I make a small percentage off your sales as well as my own. And that's, what franchises do and that's what we have here so the more franchises you open the more income you'll make you know I and, and I think if people would get that concept and that we're all working together as a team to create freedom but residual income is like it's you can't even put um, there's no value you can put on it because it's mm. just so fabulous right and that yeah. is, again, putting the power back into the people, right? For so many people, especially right now, you know, if you're watching this later, we're just coming on the, I don't know, who knows if the talent, but as most countries are starting to open from the shutdown of COVID and now recognizing the economic impact, there's people praying for what we have from an economic pr perspective right now. So if you're out there in the world, how do you open the door about business to someone, Amanda? Well, I don't have a problem with that at all. Like, if I, I mean, it's, I, I, I'm very comfortable to say to somebody, would you like to see a, a way to make some extra income? Like, that's just so easy for me to say. So I can say that to anybody, anytime, anywhere. And um, people are looking. I mean, they don't know what to do. And you look at any industry, okay, the travel industry. Oh, my goodness. Um, the teachers, my, my daughter's going through to be a teacher now. She doesn't even know if there's a future for her because they don't, we don't know how that's going to land. Um, it doesn't matter what industry you talk about, they've been affected, except for people that have online businesses and especially companies that have products for your health. Hello. So, um, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a, a simple question. And you just ask it and they say yes or no. What is it? You know, they'll ask you, what is it? And um, I need the answer for that is it's an online business. You know, can I send you a video? And for all of you guys, I don't know if you've paid attention to the Saturday trainings that they're doing in North America. We, we were all doing them in North America. Um, every Saturday, there's um, business, uh, pardon me, they'll do product and then a product training and then a business presentation and then a business training. So a bunch of uh, presidentials are doing those and they're recorded and they're they're in the live, uh, in all about Manatech. If you go under live 
remember exactly what it's called, but it'll say Saturday trainings. And you can pull up, I've done a training on there. It's 20 minutes long. You don't even have to do the, you don't even have to do the presentation. It's done. And some of the presidentials I've done on product. I always do business because that's my comfort level. But there's some amazing ones that I've done both business and product. And so you've got beautiful presentations to just send to people. I mean, really, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's the whole point, isn't it, Amanda, that, um, you know, some people will listen to somebody else. So if you're connecting, everybody's stories are unique. And if you connect with somebody and you, you build up this repertoire of the stories that are out there and are recorded, you can introduce someone with something that might be a perfect match for them. Like somebody like Amanda, who's in finance and you can get her story. And that might be open the door to someone that may not listen to you, you know, and that's the, one of the great things is deferring to experts, isn't it? Exactly. And that's why they've got all a bunch of us doing it because different personalities, different spin on the information. Um, some of the product ones are like mind blowing. They're so good. So yeah, find one that resonates with you and, and go with that. Um, I'm just going to go back to that question again for a sec, Sharon, when you said, you know, how do I share the business? Um, it is helpful if you know that there's a need there because you always want to, you know, be filling a need, be, be helping with a problem. So, you know, most people are so comfortable with the product part of it because, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's, for some reason it's more comfortable for people. And, um, but you know, if you know that somebody is in an industry that's been hit by COVID, certainly, um, you know, that's such an opener. Say, and I, I realize that, you know, your industry's been hurt by what's going on in the economy. Are you open to having a look at another way to make some extra income? If not, no big deal. That's the line that can get you out of everything. You know, if you're not, no big deal. And they're going to say yes or no. And they'll usually say, yes, let me, what is it? You know, so, because the gig economy is huge now. Mm. I mean, you've got all the training on that. And um, what is it? 50, 58 million people in North America are, are, have got a, a side gig. So driving a taxi, wow. opening their home, walking dogs, trying to be affiliate on Amazon, anything to make. And all they're making is an extra $300. Well, we can get them to $300 in no time, really. And never leave your house. You don't have to drive a car or open your home. <laughs> well, and so many of those that you just listed, they, they've been impacted. They've been shut down by COVID, you know, like exactly. Uber and yeah, Airbnb. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so people are scared. People are hungry, especially in the U.S., probably a little bit less here in, in uh, Australia, um, mm -hmm. although there's a lot of um, people having to sleep on couches and who have housing uh, instability right now. And some of those people will be hungry. You know, they'll have passion and drive. So I always say that, you know, people are praying for what we have. We need to get out of our own way and make sure people know that you might have a link for them for what their prayer, to answer their prayers. Exactly. Exactly. And how do you recommend people start, you know, once you've, so obviously you've reopened the door and somebody's interested in, um, yeah, I'd, I would like to take a look at something to make extra money. How do you recommend that? So obviously the short video you're talking about that Mad Tech's produced, um, do you sit down and do a napkin face to face? Well, that'd be impact. Do you do a Zoom or how, what do you recommend? Well, I find that Zoom is my way to go and I, because I've done the slide presentation so many times, I can do it myself. So I just go through that. And then, you know, it's nice when you're doing a Zoom with someone and you're seeing them and you're, you can talk to them and, you know, get more information from them so you can do the presentation to them. But like I said, you don't have to, you can just pull up one of the ones that's already done and play them. And we've been trying to keep them around 15, 20 minutes. And so, um, you know, they're not, like sitting there for 45 minutes or whatever, because you want to be there when, with them when they're watching, if you can. Or if you send them a video, you want to make an appointment, say, when can you watch it? Okay, Thursday night at seven, great. So I'm gonna, I'll send it to you just before that. And then as soon as you finish watching it, I'm gonna call you back and you know, please pick up, even if you're not interested, just to let me know, but we can talk after that. So then you come back on and you say, what did you like best about what you saw? And you kind of go that way. So, but that's the easiest. I mean, back in the day, I would just, I would always sit down with somebody, did the belly to belly thing. You know, I'd meet with them, go for lunch, do something. And, 
And then of course, back then too, we were doing meetings and you'd bring people to meetings and that was, you know, that's the way we did it, but that was 20 years ago, you know, so yes, people, I don't know why they're busier somehow, but um, people like to be able to stay at home and just sit at their computer and do it that way. But don't just send them a video and don't have a time to follow up with them and don't leave it out there because what will happen, you'll phone them, they won't answer, then your imagination will run wild. Oh, they don't want to do it. And they, they're not telling me. And you know, you can think of a million things. And um, so make it like an appointment, even though you're not sitting in front of them. But we've got great tools now, like so much easier. Yeah, we do. For sure. And how amazing is the new uh, COP plan with the, the 500 business pod? And it's so I easy know. to explain now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it is. And it looks doable to people. You know, yeah. like when we had it all, you could never figure anything out. I, I, I mean, I was a money girl and I always made sure I knew the comp plan, but you know, levels of this and this, and it's just a portion of a vat. And there's no way you could explain it to anybody, but they can yeah. say, I'm going to tell you one thing. If you're going through the compensation plan with somebody or you're showing them the presentation, make sure they understand that they don't have to buy 500 a month because that I've had that come up more than once where they think they have to buy 500 a month. I mean, some of us do spend that a month, but you know, say that's just, that's you and your customers together for that mm -hmm. 500. So just, just a little tip there. No, that's fantastic. And so one of the things I think that you're um, a queen of you're a real, well, you inspire me anyway, I've, I've watched a lot of your stuff for years is the personal development and you constantly are feeding your mind so how important do you think that is in regards to achieving success in a home business? It is imperative because, and, and now, should I talk about Andrew's course now? Sharon, Certainly. did you want? Yeah. Okay, because um, I, I don't know if you've seen this. Um, I've been blogging on it. Um, it's one of the best books on personal development. You can see behind me, those are all personal development books, pretty much, all to do with sales or whatever. And, I do have a passion for it because I know that um, it's your mind that holds you back from everything. And it's all made up stuff. It's just made up. And I was so blessed to have a mother that was so supportive and always was always, there's four girls in the family. She was always telling us how great we were, how wonderful we were. I mean, she would be trying to show us off all over the place, but you know, she built our confidence like crazy that way. And we were just so blessed to have that. And I was also lucky to be a positive thinker. So I kind of got, I, I, but even for me, I mean, I can still be fearful and I can still be afraid to say something. So, but where does that come from? It's so stupid. And, and when you think about it, and, and one of the things that I heard, I read one of the many, many books that I've read was the people you're talking to, they're, they're just as afraid as you. Like we give them all the power because we're afraid to open our mouth, but they're just the same. They've had all the bad programming and whatever. So the way I look at it is this, that when, you, when you're born, and this is why Andrew's book, Unstoppable Self-Confidence, was so powerful to me, because when he starts, the first thing he says in the, in the book is, you don't have to fix yourself. You're not broken. You were born perfect. You've just had bad programming you know, from your parents, from your teachers, from your peers, from whoever, every little thing that's been, you know, holding you back from things has been um, programmed into your mind, not maybe on purpose, probably not on purpose, but you know, and then we, and in school, when you think they'd always make us have, you know, the test us and you failed, you got a D here, you failed there, like we, everything was just so wrong. They don't, they're really changing the school system now too, like totally to get away from all of that. Mm -hmm. But so what Andrew's book, what they're doing now, and I'll, I'll just mention Emerge now, would that be good, Sharon? I'm not even looking at the time. Fantastic. Time. Yeah. Oh, we're okay. Um, so, okay, I'll tell you what happened. So I, I was recommended to read this book. And so I've ordered the Kindle version and I read it and I thought, holy, oh, this is the best book I've ever read on personal growth. <laughs> That's amazing. So I immediately ordered three copies, one for me and one for each of my children. And I just thought, if I'd only known about this when I was 30 or 40, you know, and so that's why I bought them for my kids. 
And then what I did is I started blogging on it. So I'd take a chapter and, and then I would do a live, a uh, Facebook live on it. Well, I don't know how it happened, but Andrew, the author, reached out and he goes, oh, Amanda, and he's from London, England. Amanda, I just want to say how much I'm enjoying your, your promoting my book and speaking about it. And I, I just really love what you're doing. And I said, oh, yikes. I said, I'm really glad you reached out because I didn't know if I was like, you know, it was like he had rights to it and I shouldn't be doing that. I had no idea. He was tickled pink because what am I doing? I'm promoting his book like crazy because I'd always say it's from this book and he's the author and you can get it from Amazon. And I really, truly, I mean, I wasn't making money by selling his book. I didn't even know the guy. So, but we go back and forth. So then he says, I said, oh, that's fantastic. And then he says to me, would it be okay if I used some of your videos on my Instagram account? And I go, well, yeah, that's fine with me. So then I said to him, but well, would you mind making a comment on one of my blogs that you're, you know, did they're watching? And he goes, well, sure. And my husband thought, oh, I was being a little bit forward. I said, what the heck? I'm just selling his book for him, you know? So then we, I don't know why we decided, but we had a Zoom together. I anyway, saw that. We, yeah, we, we went back and forth. And I got speaking with him. I don't know what happened exactly. But then I, for Man Alive, I was actually supposed to talk about something else, but I didn't feel my heart in it at the time. It was on, it was on Facebook ads and I wasn't there yet to get on and promote it. So I said, well, would you mind if, or would it be okay if I got Andrew Leadham on and we interviewed him and his book is so amazing for people. So Manatech said, yes, they're so wonderful. And so then it was Sona after seeing that me telling the whole world about this book, she thought, well, why don't we just have Manatech do a course? So there is now, and it started last Wednesday, a course. You have to be a Manatecher. Now, Andrew's creating a course he's going to sell online. It'll be like $650 US. So it's probably like, for us, it's like $1,000. It would be. But if you're a Manatecher, you get it for free. And so um, it's in this, you go to this new group called Emerge. That's E-Merge, M-E-R-G-E. -E. Oh. I'll get the link for them. Yeah, perfect. And so join that group and you can come every Wednesday. And if you can't get there, because I don't know what time it is for you guys, but um, he, he's live on there. So he's going to be there answering questions and talking. And then they'll give you um, some whole, he doesn't like to call it homework because he doesn't want to make it not fun. But it's things to think about. And he's got little videos in there. So I would really encourage you to like, don't be lazy about this because it's a nine week course. And when it's finished, it's going to be gone. So, because we can't keep his stuff and, and keep showing it when he's going to be selling it, but it telling you it's a life changer. And so the big thing about why was I so excited about this? Because he says what happened to him is he was going through a very ugly divorce. He was so terrified that he would lose his two girls, not be able to see them. He had a bad, um, he pulled his Achilles tendon, so he had a really bad um, injury from sports. So he thought his sports was over. He thought, I'm going to lose everything financially. He was like in the lowest place you could be. And he had a couple of coaches that were working with him. And within six weeks, he went from here to here. Totally different. Different person. Didn't, and, 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 and all the bad things that he was worried about didn't happen. And so he takes you through chapter by chapter by chapter to help. It'll help you work through anything that you're dealing with because he says even if like say you tried something and it didn't work he said well you learned something then like if your mind's in the right place to accept that and Sharon as we were talking about the hard times in your life those are just life lessons you're going to learn something so mm -hmm. he said you either win or you win big like say you're trying something and it works so you won or you try something and it didn't work so you learned so when you look at things that way there's never a failure right or he talks about uh, the things we worry about. And he said, they've done studies on this. He said, like 85% of the things you're worrying about never even happen. And then the other, another 10% or even more, it does happen, but it wasn't nearly as bad as they thought. In fact, there was a lesson there. And for the two or 3% that, you know, are left over, they either just didn't get it or whatever. So really everything that we worry about is not 
something to worry about. So those are the kind of lessons you're going to get with this book. So I just, again, recommend it like crazy. <laughs> and it's yeah, free. And the course is free. Go ahead, Sharon. Yeah. Well, and um, Dana, for those of you not on the chat, Dana's putting some appointment points in there in that the, the video, the live video itself is really super value and it's an hour, but then there's ex other work after that. So we, in making your commitment, realize it's going to be two or three hours a week for you, but an incredible gift from Manatech. And, you know, we had a brief chat before, didn't we, Amanda, that, you know, we do get as much out as we put into something. So if you really commit to this, I, I feel like your thinking will be trans, you have the opportunity to transform your thinking. Yes. And it, like, again, it's not just about your Manatech business. It's going to be your relationship with your husband and your spouses, uh, pardon me, your children and your friends. And it's just going to, it's just going to make your life better. I, I loved it so much. My husband's not a reader that I read the whole book to him out loud. I kid you not. Every morning we'd get our coffee, we'd be in bed and I would read him a chapter. And so I just can't recommend it enough. And I, but I want it to help your Manatech business, but it'll make you not be fearful because that's the only thing stopping you from being hugely successful is fear, false fear. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All the times in my life, I look at my Manatech business when it was going up and, and when it wasn't, it was all about my mind and my thinking and um, what, I, you know, my limited thoughts about myself. So, you know, it's, I know. it just is really important to, to commit to that as much as you want your outcomes of your business. It's, it's, it's in your power. See, that's why I love this industry and I love this company. It's a, you've got it. You've got everything you need and you can create whatever you want. Like, you know, that wasn't for me in the bank. I couldn't create whatever I wanted there. There was too many other people that had a say, but here, You've got total freedom. So you can have financial freedom and time freedom if you want, because you've got the you've got the company, you've got the product, you've got now we've got personal development. I mean, there's no reason why you can't have what you want. Absolutely. So you know, another thing I want to touch on in this time we have together, Amanda, is uh courage and learning new skills. To me, you're also a, an ambassador in that. So I've seen you like you probably well, correct me if I'm wrong, but you didn't have a lot of experience in doing lives until you, until you jumped in boots and all to the, the Mantec social media training. And I've seen you do all the lives and with a lot of enthusiasm and, and just, you're almost, I don't know if you're fearless, but it appears that way from the outside. So how important is, you know, using that as an example, how important is it for us to have that courage in practicing and learning new skills to be successful in this business? Well, certainly the more you stretch yourself, the better you're going to be. And I mean, my, my husband has a story about when I, because I lived in kind of a small town when I grew up in Whitehorse in the Yukon in Canada. And, but so we, you live there all your life, you know, and so you, you know, everybody and you're comfortable. So when I moved away from there, he just said, I was like a church mouse in the corner, not talking to anybody. And he says, and now look at her, she'll speak in front of thousands, but it, it kind of comes as you, as you grow inch by inch, first you're talking in front of a couple of people and then five people and then 10 people. And then you just, I don't know, you just keep going and going. And then I've done so many presentations, of course, that is easy. Um, the lives are maybe a different animal, but I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I just, you just do it, right? We were in that ATM thing. They're, they've got this, um, it's an online training in North America. And we were challenged to do 20 lives in 20 days. And it's funny how you do them because you are in this challenge. And there was lots of days that I thought, oh, I don't really feel like it, but I'll just quickly do it just to get it over with. But they get easier and easier and easier like everything that you do. And so um, fell out with my, with my presentation too, I was just telling a friend of mine because he has to he has to create one for this young group that he's got. Oh, it's so exciting! And um, this <laughs> huge group. And I said to him, "It's Ron Fisher. You probably have seen him around." Yeah. Um, yeah. But I said, "You know what, Ron? When I do a presentation and I'm recording it, I'll do it, and I'll screw it up, and I'll screw it up, and I'll screw it up, and I'll do it and do it and do it, and then I'll finally nail it." And I think, good, I nailed it. And then I do it one more time. And it's like, it goes from nailed to like way better. It's just practice. So 
new skills are just practice and, and always think this, if somebody else can do it, then I can do it. Right? Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. We all start from a certain place, don't we? And there's just some comment in the chat here that, um, both customers and associates can join the eMERGE. So you can see there's so many people that would benefit from that. And, you know, oh. they may then take a step and ask you, what's all that, what's an amazing community like this? I want to, I want more. Well, you know, absolutely. And in fact, there's a couple of young people that Ron has just signed up came because they wanted to be able to come to this course. So they signed oh. up as associates. Now she's been exposed to enough that she's taking this as a business and putting it to her whole social media. So it mm -hmm. started with that. And I, do, do you know about the She Society? Have you guys had um, exposure to that? Um, I was invited to it, but I, I haven't had time to look and see what the, what the purpose is. Okay, well, so it sort of started at the very same time as Emerge. It just it wasn't really meant to be a great big thing that it's become. But it was just Sona had invited me and a couple of other women, uh, Johanna, myself, Paulette Roy, Vita is there helping, um, Sona's on there. And um, we were just going to do some little call for women, so where women could be themselves, called it au naturel. You didn't have to wear makeup. You did a, well, all of a sudden, it's over like 650 women now. And now we're bringing speakers on every week and it's all fun. So it's just for women. She society, the she society. Apparently there's a she society in Australia and we thought we made up the name, but so it's just a, it's just a call. It's for all women, not just Manatechers. Um, we're not supposed to talk about Manatech. We're not supposed to try and do business in there. It's strictly for women and their own personal um, safe place to come and be a woman and talk about women things kind of like the view in Toronto where they have that, show the view we're trying to kind of do it like that and um so it just kind of exploded and so all women are welcome and the she society it's called and but then emerge like got launched the, ne the next week so like there was so much stuff going on emerges i'm going to say is more important for you because of the mm. training so and but the, I guess the point of this she society would be to see how leaders create uh, a group of interest in order to build relationships and you know ultimately down the track you might be able to you know inspire someone to take a look at Manatech but um, having I think communities like that of like-minded people in times like this where we're committed to being positive and lifting people up is you know is a, a shining light in, in some people for in the darkness really. Well, truly, at sea, and that you hit on it because um, there's a lot of manatechers in there, obviously. And so, when you invite someone in, they are getting to know us. And like Sona said, it's a bit of a Trojan horse in that you can see us. And I think one of the girls that joined Ron's team came to She Society, and she saw me speaking. So it, it elevated me to be, you know, looking like one of the leaders. And so it all just helps that way. And so. Yeah. If you invited someone to that, you could say that. And a lot of people from my company are there, uh, but it's not about business. It's just blah, 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 blah. But they do kind of get to see you and think, hey, these kind of cool ladies, maybe I wouldn't mind hanging around with them, you know? So. No, that's fantastic. So we're just coming to the end of our time. I'm not sure if anybody has any questions that I haven't covered on. Feel free, free to jump in. But Amanda, where do you see uh, Manatech going in the next 10 years? Cool it's going to explode. There's no way it can't. We, with the products line that we've got, 25 years, 27, 26 countries, um, online business, unlimited income, $50 to start. I, what else, what else can we possibly do to make it perfect? So it has to explode. And you know, I've had a lot of shares for a long time of the, of the company and I would never get rid of them ever and i swear they should be worth 200 dollars each you know because i just believe this company is just uh, the future is amazing i think mm -hmm. believe me well and even in the time that we've experienced so there's been sort of uh a couple you know two or three or four or five 
situations where we've lost access to some of the raw materials. But compared to other companies, we've, no matter what's happened in the world, everybody went home. It's been seamless, really. We've had some in Australia. Uh, I can't speak for New Zealand. I don't know. And Singapore's have trouble too with couriers and stuff. But if you, you know, just sort of double the shipping time, we're still getting our wellness technology, which is so important for, you know, I doubt if this will be the last health threat on the planet. Um, so, you know, I know it definitely wasn't, it, it gave me the ability to um, open doors that had been closed previously and talking about our technology. You know, a couple of nurses I know, um, they just were pretty closed doors. Mm -hmm. And um, as part of this, it gave, you know, it gave me an open door to talk about it. So I think that's only going to increase. Um, Absolutely. Like we're in vogue now. You know, we're in yeah. vogue. We've yeah. got the right products at the right time, the right business model, the perfect delivery system. I mean, everything is, is just couldn't be better. You just have to open your mouth. That's it, truly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was very heartfelt. Is there anything else left in your heart to share with people today? Um, I don't think so. I just, uh, I just would recommend, honestly, take the course, it's free, um, and work through it, do the work, because your life will change, and then go out and be unstoppable in your Manatech business, and build the life that you really want to build. You've got everything, once you get through some of those little hurdles, silly little hurdles that are holding you back, get out there and open your mouth and explode your business. That's all I can say. <laughs> and I want to thank Amanda, Sharon again thank for you. having me. Uh, oh, you'll be coming back. You'll be coming back. Um, <laughs> so much gratitude in here. Someone's saying that they had to cancel a, an event to be here and now they can see why. So Amanda, mm -hmm. it's, you know, the ability that we have in this business to support people in their thinking and every, every aspect of their life is, is priceless. So thank you so much for giving so generously. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, as, of, as Dinah mentioned earlier, if you were here at the beginning, we're focusing on men's health next week. So we have four amazing gentlemen who put their hand up and um, we're probably going to drag in a couple of women because people tell me, people who are wives tell me that they often have to drag their husbands kicking and screaming into nutrition mm -hmm. and looking after their bodies. So we're going <laughs> to have the female perspective. I'm going to talk about giving nutrition to my boys. Um, and teaching them about residual income. So um, that's what's on next week. And that we've designed this and mostly Diana is spearheading this. Thank you, Diana, to be available for you to invite your guests. So this is an opportunity, a special men's health event as Australia has men's health week for you to get involved with that movement and invite them to this event. So it's, it's best for guests. So I challenge you all to bring two people next Saturday. Amanda, thank you. God bless you. And I'll be in touch so we can uh, join in on the, the Andrew craze and, you know, yes. bless so many people. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank, Thank you so much. Very good Love. day, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye. Good night, Amanda. <laughs> Bye. Bye.